Yes, I've watched this series, specifically this season of American Horror Story, three times. I love witches. I think more than I love vampires and demons. There's something mystically feminine and powerful about them. I love the aesthetic and the history of witches. I've watched almost everything witch-based, from Witchfinder General, to The Craft, to The Witch, to even the chilling adventures of Sabrina, the teenage witch. I have not seen Agatha all along, but I've heard great things about it, and I hope to look at it someday. When I first saw Coven, I loved it. Out of all the AHS series, it seemed the most creative, fun, and whimsical in the series. All of the actresses seemed to have fun with the material, and watching Jessica Lange, Angela Bassett, and Kathy Bates act circles around each other was a delight to see. However, I noticed when I rewatched the season for the second time, I realized the, I enjoyed it, but less than the first time. I could not put my finger on why this was the case. The performances were wonderful and campy, as before, but the ma magic had faded a bit. It was not until I saw the season a third time that everything began to fall into place, specifically on why that magic was gone. I can now pinpoint exactly when in the season I began to feel this way, and I was disappointed a bit in myself that I did not recognize it before. In this video, I'm going to share what I still love about American Horror Story Coven and what I dislike about the season as a whole. So let's talk about it. What is AHS Coven? For those who have never watched American Horror Story or Coven, let me give you a very brief overview. American Horror Story is a horror anthology series akin to like the Twilight Zone or Goosebumps. AHS premiered on the FX channel in 2011 and was created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Each season consists of a particular theme or horror trope. For instance, there has been a season focused on ghosts in a haunted house, an asylum, a carnival, and yes, one on witches. Each subsequent season centers around an ensemble cast. Most of these castmates appear and reappear in multiple seasons as different characters, which keeps fans of the series glued to the screen to watch their favorite actress or actor in a new role or setting. Series mainstays and staples include Jessica Lange, who's appeared in these seasons, Sarah Paulson, who's appeared in these seasons, Tysa Farmiga, who's appeared in these seasons, Evan Peters in these seasons, Lily Robbie in these seasons, Emma Roberts in these, Angela Bassett in these seasons, and Kathy Bates in these seasons. AHS Coven centers around a group of Coven witches who are descended from the legendary Salem witches. The Coven is under threat of extinction as a group of witch hunters has been over the centuries killing them in large scale. Each Coven has a witch of such power who can wield the Seven Wonders. This witch is known as the Supreme, and the Supreme Witch is responsible for protecting the Coven. Unfortunately, the Coven of the New Orleans has more than a threat of witch hunters to deal with, because they face a threat from within. The Supreme's power begins to fade when a young, more powerful witch begins to come into her power. Some of this season's opening minutes provide flashbacks into the 300-year history of past covens, going back to 1692. These brief vignettes give a glimpse into the fascinating witches of yesteryear and how they dealt with the trials and tribulations of their age. There are more surprises and threats in store for the gifted new generation of the coven, including a visit from the famed white witch, Stevie Nicks. Let me talk about three things I really love about AHS Coven. My lovable and likable, number one. I love the vibes of the show, specifically the first half, which include music from Fleetwood Mac. I, I hate to admit it, but I, I don't care. I love Fleetwood Mac. Specifically, I love Stevie Nicks. And having her in the show was a genius move. My favorite witch in the series was Misty Day, played by Lily Robin. I love that she was a super fan of Stevie, and her power set seemed to be the most mystical and witchy out of all the cast in Coven. I was pissed off when she was... Mm, wait, 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 wait. I, I'll, I will bring that up in my dislike section. Suffice it to say, 
I liked all the song choices early on in the season. It added to the allure of the show, and the tone was very inviting for me as a Stevie fan. Lovable and likable, number two. I love Jessica Lange. She and Sarah Paulson work so well together in American Horror Story. Jessica Lange plays the Supreme Witch Fiona Good, a descendant of the Salem Witches. She plays this role with a playful sensuality you do not really see in women of her age in Hollywood today. Every time she's on screen, she commands attention. And I like the plotline that she's dying and is willing to sacrifice the next generation witches to keep her vigor and supremacy. Lovable and likable, number three. Learning the history of Marie Laveau and Marie Delphine Lillory, specifically the brutal history of what Lillory did to her enslaved captives, was horrifying. And I thought Kathy Bates, who played Delphine Lillory, was exceptional in the role. She invoked a lot of her Annie Wilkes performance from Misery. I felt the lovely and beautiful Angela Bassett did a splendid job of playing Marie Lillavaux. She has a presence to her role that I wanted to see more of. I could get a sense from watching Angela Bassett that she wanted to go hard in the paint and showcase more of Marie Laveau's villainy. But time constraints held her back. There were times I felt she and Lillary deserved their own series at times. Also, learning more about Papa Legba and watching the outstanding performance of the late great Lance Reddick was a feast for their eyes. I wanted to know more about the Black practitioner side of New Orleans, but the time was not in the cards. Now, we are going to transition to what I disliked about AHS Covenant. Oh boy. Three things I dislike about AHS Covenant. Dislikable number one. This show had way too many characters. With an ensemble cast, it's very difficult to give every cast member equal time. Some cast members, while great for the dynamic of the show, seem to jump in and out of the series. Some characters were treated very unfairly in the writing department, like Nan and Queenie, for instance. Nan, played by Jamie Brewer, and Queenie, played by Gabrini Sidibe, these two actresses probably had the least screen time in Coven, and I felt their specific storylines were butchered to some extent. Nan was the clairvoyant who could hear people's thoughts. She was a source of empathy and deep connection, similar to Mantis in the Guardians of the Galaxy series. Her storyline ended incredibly tragically and shitty. First, the boy she loves is abused and killed by his mother. Then she comes into her powers and is killed off by Marie Laveau and Fiona Good. Lastly, she's killed off to be sacrificed to Papa Legba to live with him for all eternity. Nan even says, it's even better to be in hell than to stay amongst the living. I did not get this rationale, and it just seemed like a quick method to get her removed from the board. Now I'm talking to my girl, Queenie. Queenie was in and out of the series for much of the show. Her storyline drew some sympathy from me, being one of one amongst a house full of non-melanated people. Her background is probably the most fascinating out of all the new generation of witches. She's a direct descendant to Tichaba, the first witch in Salem. She has the power to be a living voodoo doll. So any damage done to Queenie is reflected on the person she wants damaged. She is brilliant at math and her interactions with Madison played by Emma Roberts are some of the highlights of the season. Queenie has mastered five of the seven wonders and is an integral part of the coven. However, when I look back at some of the choices the showrunners and writers made for her, I'm left scratching my head and saying, of course they did that to her. Choice number one that they butchered with Queenie. Queenie's the only black heavyset woman, but has to work at a chicken shack called Chubby's? Really? Two. Queenie is the only black woman who yearns to find love and connection and gets off camera by the Minotaur? <laughs> Why though? Out of all this, Queenie manages to be one of the two last surviving coven witches to make it to the end of the series. But some of the writing for her to get to this spot made me roll my eyes. Dislikable number two. There were too many ideas for this season. All of them were trying to be fit into a 13 episode run. I think Coven had the potential to be more than one series, and in essence, it has. Some, if not all, of the Coven characters return for AHS Apocalypse. 
but I feel that some of the storylines and histories could have been elaborated or spun off into separate seasons. I would have loved to see a season on the 1920s Coven, or even the 1970s Coven showcasing the young Fiona and young Myrtle. I felt there was so much story to be explored between these two characters, and I love the eccentric and stylistic chaos that was Myrtle Snow, played by the wonderful Frances Conroy. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I felt some of the storylines and ideas did not land as well as the showrunners wanted them to, and the ones that did weren't fleshed out enough or given enough time due to reasons. Dislikable number three. They killed off my girl Misty Day. I know some of people, I know some of you may hate Misty, but I do not. And she was one of my favorite witches. She resurrected so many people, and yet she was not powerful enough to get herself out of hell. I know Madison and Zoe were fan favorites, but damn, maybe, maybe it made sense seeing as how Misty could not take a life, no matter how small or insignificant. But the show seemed to set her up as the next Supreme. And that role went to Cordelia. Now, look, I, I do not have a problem with Cordelia at all. I, 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 she's okay. But at least have Misty be there at the end. I can imagine that Misty would have been an excellent mentor at Miss Robichaud's School for Girls. Final thoughts. I love camp stories. They straddle the line between being really theatrical and lively and being really bad and cheap. AHS has done a really good job of walking that line with each season. Some seasons of AHS hit really well, some really flop, but people keep coming back. I love AHS Coven, but I recognize that there are so much left on the cutting room floor. So much to be desired. Yeah, sidebar. Um, I also wanted to point out the show's excessive need to point out and highlight um, Madison's defilement. Um, this kicked off the show where she was gang at a local party a lot of local fraternity party um also she was killed off by fiona and then her corpse it's implied and i think even spalding who's played creepily and excellently by Dennis O'Hare even states that he had his way with her corpse. So she was defiled like multiple times and, you know, she comes into her power. She gets her power back. She, you know, gets quote unquote revenge on those who defiled her. But still, I, I think it always kind of irked me a little bit that, you know, all this was done to one single character. Um, I've already mentioned you know, Queenie's assault, um, implied assault, but with Madison, it was just, wh why? And I always like, kind of scratch my head, like, Jesus. Even in death, <laughs> like, because she couldn't get a break even in death. Like, I know she's like the, you know, ditzy, self-absorbed, you know, actress and stuff like that. And, you know, she, she's the asshole, but one person doesn't deserve all that, so... Yeah, this is what I kind of was meeting when some of the writing in the show was a bit not campy, but it was very subpar to certain characters. And I think Madison kind of got a bum rap um, throughout the show. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to get, wanted to say in Cyber. I would have loved to learn more about Tichipa and how her bloodline endured throughout the centuries to land at Queenie. I felt a lot of the voodoo aspects of the show were left unexplored, and Papa Legba, a deity, was only in the show like two minutes, while other characters received multiple episodes. Now, some of y'all going to hate me, but I'm sorry. I have to say this. I don't like Zoe. I don't care for Zoe. I think the actress playing her, Taisa Farmiga, is the bee's knees, but I do not understand her appeal or why she survived this long in the show. Apparently, AHS Coven is making a return. Don't know when but I will be there day one. I hope that season will conjure up the same magic I felt when I first watched it. If you liked what I had to say, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Who was your favorite witch or character in the coven? Let me know in the comments below and perhaps we can discuss it. As always, be kind to yourself and to each other. And that's all I got. Cabs out.